School popularity. I'm just gonna be real with you. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter at all. So if you're still in school, it's definitely something that you shouldn't be worrying about. If you consider yourself popular, that's great. You know, just keep doing your thing, but just know that it's not everything. So if you're not popular, don't worry about it. Once school's over, no one cares anymore. A lot of people just end up peaking in high school. Like they were partying all the time, constantly trying to pull girls, and they never really stepped aside and kind of just thought about what they wanted to do for the rest of their life. They basically thought high school was life. And I know it's really fucking obvious, but that's not all there is to life. And some people just need to get that through their skull before they sit on their bed, listen to Juice World after not getting invited to the latest school function. Now, I never really experienced the popular side of the spectrum, but I had some friends who did. But me, I was kind of like in that lower middle section. I wasn't really that popular. But thankfully, ladies and gentlemen, I was not level one. I'm just gonna keep it a stack. At level one, yeah, no one really likes. You. And sometimes it could either be for a good or bad reason. Now, here are a few contenders at level one. You got Nielsen, the nerd, of course, the musty kid, and the teacher's pet. They're all level one. And these types of people, they're kind of just asking to be at level one. In elementary school, I was a teacher's pet, unfortunately. And yeah, I, it's safe to say that nobody fucking liked me. Like, I would shush people when they were talking. Like, I was trying to be the school hero over here, reinforcing the rules. I thought I was doing God's work. But in reality, man, I was just really unlikable. And looking back, I can definitely see why. And if you walk into school musty as hell, do you really think people are gonna like you? Yeah, absolutely not. Like, your first priority has gotta be hygiene, man. Like, some people really out here like, ah, it's all right. I'll just shower next week. Next week? How do you go a week without showering, bro? I physically need to take a shower every day or else I feel like bacteria is crawling all over my skin. All it really requires is put on a decent fit, you know, brush your teeth, shower, cologne, deodorant, all that sort of stuff. And well, once you complete these steps, you are now on level two. You're just the average dude. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm in college right now and I'm kind of on this level. I'm just gonna be real. I'm not invited to parties or whatever, but to be honest with you, I really don't care. I just go to school and do my thing. I wanna be able to pursue YouTube full time. So I'm not really worried about popularity or anything. I feel like YouTube's just gonna open a lot more doors for me when school's over. Now at this level, you got like a few friends, but not too many. And that's really all you need to be honest because after high school bro there's no way you're staying in contact with every single person you met in high school and there's a reason why this image exists right here like all the way at your senior year you're left with like a few friends and that's it and i'm just gonna be honest i really only have a few friends i don't have many if you're someone that's kind of struggling to and you think you have to have a shit ton of friends you don't so i wouldn't worry too much about it and the types of people on this level well i guess just the average dude the late kid maybe or the dude that's always absent level three you're part of a friend group group or some kind of group at the school. Not too many people know you. They kind of know you for being a part of whatever group you're in. A lot of these people don't get involved in school drama, school beef, or whatever the case may be. Now in high school, I spawn camped level three. I had a friend group and I was really only known for being in that friend group. Nobody knew me for anything else. Like some people when I graduated, like they literally walked up to me and they were like, bro, who the f are you? Uh... Don't worry about it. I didn't really know anybody outside my friend group. I didn't really expand or try to be a part of multiple friend groups or anything. I was just happy with my one friend group. I didn't really care. Now, as for school parties, I did not get invited, but some of my friends did. A lot of them did branch out and talk to other groups, but of course I didn't. I kind of stayed in my own bubble. As much as I wish I put myself out there more, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. And now for contenders on this level, you got just the average friend group, the stoners. The kids in theater or band. And hell, even the greatest group of them all. The Hanshino group. I don't know. I guess being a part of a group made people hold some kind of status at the school. They were popular among the group, but not really outside their own circle. But as you branch out more and join more groups, you begin to enter level four. Level four, you're known by people, but not a lot of people. And you're a part of a few different groups. Or you're a part of a group that's just well-liked by the school. Like the football team, for example, if they're good. And now, now, I was on the football team, but there's an exception for me. I was a bench warmer, so obviously I was not gonna be popular. I was out here filling up goddamn water bottles, so I just quit after that. I didn't want to deal with it. And if the sports team's good, like, I don't know, the basketball team or the football team, a lot of people are gonna go to the games and watch you. Hence, you become more popular that way. Like, say you're cooking up in the latest game, your name gets out there. Say you hit a three from half court, boom, your name's all over the school papers. So if you're part of, like, a sports team or just any 
any club or organization that's highly favored by the school, you would be on level four. And of course, you could be known for other things at the school. Like you could be the smart kid, right? Like everybody likes the smart kid. He's not a teacher's pet. He's a chill dude. He just gets through school with A somehow. He doesn't even have to study. And people no. saw him as a walking textbook. So obviously they were going to try and use him for homework answers. And people knew him as the homework plug. Or hell, you could be the plug. And of course, your name's going to get out there this way. But people are really only going to use you for your supply. So yeah, I wouldn't go with that approach. This dude's running a whole ring at the school, bro. It's crazy. And he taxes hella. So people are going to try and get a discount off of him. Please, dude. Yo, yo, man. I, I need this one for free, bro. I haven't, I haven't gotten a hit in three days, bro. It's been three days. This dude's got hella people added on Snapchat. Well, because that's literally all he posts on his Snapchat story. Of course, I don't fucking use Snapchat anymore. But when I used to scroll on Snapchat, I remember always seeing this dude. He would always just show off his new shipment. You'd be like, yo, bro, got this new shipment of bud, bro. Anybody want some? It's mad cheap. He was embracing the fact that he was just known as the plug at this point. Like this dude would never post anything else. That's crazy. But in summary of level four, you're kind of just known for something around the school. Level five. These are people that fiend to be at the top of the social hierarchy or just want to involve themselves in drama or school parties or whatever the case may be. And now on level five, you're not just known by some people like you were on level four. You're kind of known by most of the school. And it's either for a good reason or a bad reason. Like that dude that hosts all the parties. Or those people that have a WWE Smackdown at seven in the morning. Like relax, bro. It is not that serious. And you know, whatever they were fighting about was so goddamn stupid. It was just not worth their time at all. But of course, why they were doing it? Well, they just want attention. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter to them. Or the people that are drama queens are on this level. Like their friend group is always in some kind of big drama and everybody somehow hears about it. Oh my God, Melissa really asked if she was invited to the party. Ugh, ew, she is such a stank. She's not coming to the party. Like bro, shut your ass up. Nobody cares. Like they're almost as loud as the hot Cheeto girls. Make that make sense. And that one group of level five that's like fiending for attention, they just think they're the shit. They think they're on top of the social hierarchy. But in reality, they're just annoying as hell. And it's honestly better to listen to fucking nails on a chalkboard. Now, level six, you're known by a lot of people. And it could just be for a host of different reasons. Like you're one of the top varsity athletes at the school, for example. And if you're in level six, a lot of people talk about you, even if you don't really intend on it sometimes. You just existing is mind blowing to people. And even some random person that like probably has never seen you in your entire life probably knows you by name because of how many times they hear people talk about you. Or sometimes information about you gets posted online. Like, I don't know, like where you're committing to college if you're an athlete. Sometimes, man, people know you for your looks. Like, bro, there could be that one girl that everyone's like, damn, bro, she bad as hell. And everyone just knows her for that reason. Of course, a lot of people want to ask her to prom, try to bag her, you know, they do the most. And unfortunately, depending on the person, whether they really care about popularity or they don't, you might have to be on one of those higher levels if you want to bag her. Like, this is what would have happened if I tried to ask one of the popular girls to prom. Um, so, um, yeah, prom, prom's coming up. And, uh, you know, I, I was wondering if you want to go, uh, go, go, uh, go with me. Will, will you go to, go to prom with me, us two together? You know what I'm saying? Ew, no, who even are you? Yeah, that's what would have happened. So to be honest with you, I didn't even try. I just stayed in my lane. I knew I wasn't popular at all, so I just didn't even bother. Some people want to quote unquote maintain their social status by dating somebody that's like on their level or close to their level in like the social hierarchy. And some people just don't care about it. And good on you for not caring about it because it doesn't matter at the end of the day. And now, of course, we got to talk about level seven. There's one more level after level. Level seven. Level infinity is where it really gets good. But level seven is just your him or her. Like you could date anybody you want. You could be friends with anybody of your choice. People just see you as the goat in their eyes. And you're just known as a legend around the school at this point. Some people will even beg 
to hang out with you, for you to throw a party, or whatever the case may be. Bro, 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 please, please, you have to throw a party. Bro, it would be so lit. Trust me, bro, I, I can get a lot of girls there, you know what I'm saying? And even if they say no, they will continue to be persistent. Like, that's just what happens. People will literally do anything to be associated with you. Like, this kid will not stop meat riding, it's crazy. And the people that, like, meat ride and shit like that, those are the type of people that peak in high school. Popularity just means the world to these type of kids, and their soul will be crushed if you, as someone who's on that level 7 plane, does not accept them. It's sad, bro, but people do it. And now, as for level infinity, whatever you did made such a huge impact at the school that people will still talk about you years later. Could be people in lower grades at the school or whatever the case may be. But people will not get your name out of their mouth. All in all, if you're popular, that's great. If you're not, it'll be over soon. But just don't peek in high school, for God's sake. Want more videos to watch? I have an entire playlist of videos just like this right here.